Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you five simple tips uh, for wig styling. Today I'm here with my best buddy, Wiggity Wiggity <laughs> Wiggity Wiggington. It was supposed to be a Caroline wig, but uh, it was a super cheap wig. It's fine if we sacrifice this wig for educational purpose. So let's start. Cutting wigs. This is how you should not cut a wig. Never make any straight cuts, as this will only result in unnatural and uneven fringes. In short, it just looks blech. Instead, you should move the scissors up and down, applying just a bit of pressure. Some strands will be longer, some shorter, which will result in a natural and soft hairline. I'm using simple hair cutting scissors here. Comb the hair every few cuts or so to see where the hair isn't even yet and can do with a bit more trimming. I also like to further thin the hair moving the scissors vertically from root to end. Here I'm just trying to fix the other side as good as possible for the following styling tip. If there are just a few single hairs that are too long, you can cut them by holding the scissors at an angle, but never horizontally. Adding volume. I'm taking my teasing brush and remove old hair first, because I'm gross. Start teasing all the layers from top to bottom. Leave the very first layer out so it can lay clean on top of the messy teased part. I'm using a bit of hairspray here. I'm also using my hair dryer on the hottest setting to fixate everything. Then I'm gently brushing the hair down. Be careful not to brush out too much of the teased hair. Adding volume will always shorten the hair a bit, so keep that in mind when you're trimming the hair. I also thin out the first layer a bit so it falls nicely and doesn't look too harsh covering the rest of the wig. At the end I'm using a bit of hairspray to fixate everything. Here's before and after. It's subtle, but it has a big effect. Simple ponytail. Ponytails can be really annoying to make, and if I don't have the nerve for that, I just cheat. When you try making a regular ponytail, it ends up showing wefts and your actual hair underneath, because the wefts are normally sewn in in a way that covers them when you're wearing the hair down. To prevent that, I simply grab the hair by the lower end of the wig and then tie it into a ponytail. I'd recommend using pins to fix the wig in place. I'm attaching a second hairband at a slight distance. That allows me to sew the wig into its base at the position of the second hairband. There's an even simpler method. Instead of sewing it in place, you can use a hair clip. It's faster, but not as stable. Adding a bit of hairspray and some styling and we're done. Spikes. First, I cut a few strands, just so that I have a rough length for the spike. Then I start teasing the hair. I 
I occasionally blow dry the hair and use hairspray. And some more teasing. And teasing. Teasing. Did I say teasing? I now cut the extra hair, adjusting the length. The spike should now stand in an upright position all by itself. So you can carefully use your fingers or comb to mold it into the desired shape. You should use some additional hairspray and the blow dryer to further fixate the ends. With enough teasing and hairspray, they shouldn't collapse that easily. Curls I twist and turn the strands into little curls and fixate them with clips. Then I use my trusty steamer. I carefully steam the curls. The steam heats up the hair and changes the texture from straight to curly. If you want to make that effect even stronger, you can use a simple plastic bag. The bag will keep the steam in place a bit longer. But be careful not to burn your hand on the steam exiting the bottom of the bag. Give the wig a few hours of resting time and wait for the curls to completely dry. Then you can remove the clips. You can either leave the strands as well defined and curly as they are or brush them out into a natural wavy look. So um, yeah, that were my five basic wig styling tips. Um, I completely ruined this wig here just for you. Please appreciate it. And it's going right into the trash. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And, and we see you next time. <laughs> Sup. Again, please be careful not to comb out what you just spent all this back combing on. <laughs> Again, please be careful not to comb out what would you spend all this back on. <laughs> Again, oh man! <laughs> it's hard. Okay. Again, please be careful not to comb out what you've just spent all. <laughs> Again, please be careful not to comb out what you spend. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Spikes. Not the one from Buffy. I was forced to do that joke. It's a great joke. It's not.